All right, guys, Frank the Gaming Tank here. I'm at work right now, but some news broke earlier this morning that I saw, maybe last night, that uh, Digital Foundry has confirmed that the APU, thought to be the PlayStation 5 APU named the Gonzalo chip, is almost 99% certainty, they said. Um, it, it was almost a 99% chance that it is the PlayStation 5 APU. And what does this mean? Well, it means that the rumors were mostly correct. It will have an 8-core, 16-thread CPU clocked at around 3.2 gigahertz. And we don't know if that's going to be any boost, turbo boost to that or anything, but do know that it's going to uh, be at least clocked at 3.2 gigahertz, probably all cores. And so we don't know if there's a boost frequency to that or not, or if it's always going to be 3.2. A lot of times in consoles, they tend to just set a high bar for the frequency and keep that, and you can run at lower clocks if you want, but um, they have a threshold so they don't get too hot. And then the GPU, we don't know anything about the cores on the GPU, how many it's got, if it has ray tracing cores on the GPU, or that's going to be handled um, from different hardware. But we do know that it's Navi based, and initially the clock speeds were said to be 1.8 gigahertz on the GPU, which is outstanding. If it has uh, 40 compute units, then that would put it at 5700 XT level. Um, and if it's got less, then it'll be a little below that, probably 5700. But my guess is it's around the 5700 XT in raw performance. And the newer leaks have come out saying that it was at around 2 gigahertz. And if it runs at 2 gigahertz, which that could just be the dev kit clock speeds and it could run lower when it comes out. But if it's at 2 gigahertz, then it's going to be faster than a 5700 XT. And uh, what does this mean? Well, that's faster than a GTX 1080, which was originally rumored with the one of the first Gonzalo leaks. And... I'd say it's around the speed of a 1080 Ti, roughly, but it is it is going to have ray tracing on the console. Um, so that's the added feature that, say, the 1080, 1080 Ti uh, don't natively support. They can run it through software. So you're looking at a console that's going to be, I'm just going to say roughly around a 1080 Ti in power level. Not quite that fast, but pretty close. Consider it. It's a faster than a 1080, and so let's say maybe around 2070 super performance, maybe a little less. And we just don't know. And with it being in the console, it could be a little faster than a 2070 super, or right at it, just because the console ecosystem it's uh, lower level access, so you get more performance out of the parts. And so far, that's all we know. And it's not 100% fact, they just said 99%, but it's pretty pretty much confirmed for the most part. Still don't know how much RAM or anything else or how the ray tracing is handled on the system or not. It is rumored that the Xbox Scarlet has better ray tracing capabilities. And uh, that's one reason I think it's going to be more expensive than the PlayStation 5. I think it's just going to have a bigger chip on it, which is going to be more expensive to manufacture and it's gonna have a few more features maybe, but they're gonna be pretty close. Probably the same CPU, almost identical, just like this past generation. The GPU and the RAM and SSDs, um, how those are implemented is probably gonna be the biggest difference and how the ray tracing is implemented is gonna be the biggest difference. So we'll have to wait and see on that. We don't have any concrete information about the Scarlet yet, except for what Microsoft has said, so no concrete details on any of the hardware specifications but a lot of people are hoping that at XO19 next month that they are going to have some more information come out um, it's not a it's not a given not facts just people are hoping and there's a few rumors pointing that they might let a little slip there but I don't think they're going to have any technical specifications they may just come out and say some of the same stuff Sony has not any hard uh, facts about the hardware, just that maybe it's a 16-thread CPU, it's this GPU, and, or in, but they're not going to say how many cores or 
the clock speeds or anything like that just yet. I think they're going to wait and either hold an event next year before E3 or show it all off at E3 and then get ready for release in holiday next year and most likely November. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick video and let you guys know that that's coming pretty soon. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video and let you guys know, I'm sorry that the uh, information was out there and uh, inform me a little bit about what they leaked and if you would like to, you can go check out Digital Foundry's page and they'll have the some uh, the in-depth information there. They should. If it's not up there yet, it should be uh, coming sooner. You can find it elsewhere on YouTube. It was at an event they held, so um, if you want to go check that out. And that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Frank the Gamer Tank out.